What's going on guys, Joe here for Gamer Toys and welcome to another pickup episode. Let's get started. So this right here is the remaining stuff. This is the last of it of my King County haul. This is everything that Tom from Pizarro's Pieces brought over for me because he's a top notch guy and uh, let's dig in. All right, you guys, all you JP heads, you know what I'm saying? Ted, you watching? This right here is the electronic Dilophosaurus, JP-11. So you would move his arm like this and his mouth would open. Obviously the electronics don't work anymore. Um, I'll probably open up the battery compartment and probably clean it out. I'm sure it needs to be cleaned if it's not eroded and uh, replace some batteries. But still, I had this Dilo as a kid and uh, I couldn't wait to add it to the collection. Can't go wrong with some JP in your life. Get on that. I have some more vintage TMNT here. This is part of the Wacky Action series, I believe. And this is, uh, man, someone's gonna correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is Creepy Crawling Splinter or something like that. You like wind him up, and he like crawls or something, I don't know. <laughs> something like that. I never had this one as a kid, but I believe it's complete. It has a lot of crap. This looks like a rat holding a lantern. What is this, a camera or a radio? I couldn't even tell you. It looks like a shower head, some crazy thing with a face in it, I don't know. And a knife, I know the knife. That's a lot of accessories, he has to be complete. So Tommy kind of gave me the pick of the lot to see uh, if there's anything I wanted and how could I not take this because he's so weird. This one's cool because it came with a catalog. Look at this sweet catalog. I don't know, it's the volleyball Donatello. It says sewer spikers. So it could be like sewer spiker Donatello or something. I'm not sure. Someone can let me know. Never had this one as a kid either. I just thought he was cool. He comes with the volleyball, some kind of gun thing. I don't know. Bow staff net, because that's what you need. You know when you're fighting ninjas on the beach. And of course his gimmick is you would pop this top, put some water in here, and he's got a little uh, nozzle piece sticking out of his mouth and he would squirt water out. It's a pretty cool figure. The paint is actually pretty nice on him. Uh, it's a little dirty under the brim of the hat, but uh, you know, whatever, not complaining. This next one, how can you say no to this? It's a hard head Michelangelo. Uh, the paint is great, man. Jeez, Tommy. This is a, uh, it's a nice figure. A little bit of overspray under the bandana, but that's just nitpicking. And he comes with his weapons. Uh, the only thing missing here, which looks to be the nunchucks, uh, you have one bit of a handle of a nunchuck left, but everything else is still on the tree. So, you know, weapons rack intact, minus the nunchucks. Always happy to add uh, Michelangelo to the collection. And the last turtle is Mr. Leonardo himself. It's in better shape than the one that I have currently, so he'll definitely be replacing that one. He has the swords, which are already in the belt, and his weapon rack is still intact as well. It's got uh, the other... Weapons there, minus the, the throwing stars. Yeah, I think Michelangelo's was missing the throwing stars as well. I forgot about those until just now. Nice condition, Leonardo. The belt's great. There's no rips. It's just nice condition, man. Thank you, Tom. We got some Hasbros. Do I have a British Bulldog? Yes, I do, but that is okay. This one looks to be in better condition than mine anyway. And I don't think my British Bulldog, I don't think his action works. Slam your ass to the ground action. And then we have, what, the uh, the Texas Tornado? I guess I should have looked their names up. He'll clothesline your ass, but I don't think his action works that well anymore. And of course, everyone knows the Hulkster. This is a version of Hulk that I do not have. I have the bear-hugging Hulk. This is the, I'm gonna smack your head with my fist action. Great paint, Hulkster rules is perfect on his shirt. One of my favorites. Of course, we have Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, this guy is a little bit more played with, but that's that's absolutely fine. He's got some paint rubs on the back, but overall, it's a great display piece. He's pointing his finger at you in disgust. His action still works. Awesome, Sergeant Slaughter. Papa Shango. So it looks like his action is I'm gonna pull back and punch you right in your face. Awesome. Uh, the tattoos still look great on him. A little bit of rubs, but overall, He's gonna clean up nice. Awesome display piece. Oh man, we have Mr. Perfect. Once again, overall, the paint is just, man, the paint's great on all these, really. His action still works. It's a little loose. I'm gonna cave your head in action. I definitely did not have a Mr. Perfect yet, so I'm really happy to have this. And then the last member, I needed Crush for demolition. He's got that twisty clothesline action. Now my demolition trio is complete. 
with Crush. Can't beat it. And then we have Greg the Hammer Valentine. He has the same uh, clothesline action as Crush. His is a little bit more tight. Awesome figure. Minty figure right here. Awesome. And of course I saved the best for last. The Legion of Doom. I am so happy that uh, Tom was kind enough to pass these along to me because I almost bought these guys off eBay and I'm glad I didn't because they were definitely a little overpriced. Um, there's a couple of their spikes that are broken off, but like I've said many times before, I'm not looking for super minty figures here. I just want to collect them because I loved playing with them as a kid. The heads look amazing. Besides the broken spikes, these guys are pretty minty. So it's just awesome. Thank you, Tom, once again. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of Pickups. I got some amazing WWF Hasbro wrestling figures, some vintage TMNT, and one Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. Uh, this is just a great haul that Tom was kind enough to bring my way. You know, this on top of everything else that I got at King County was just an amazing time for me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.